live. It is. We are live. We're, we're late, but we're live. Well, I was late. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been rushing around today. Yeah. I know it. Busy weekend. Uh huh. A lot going on. How about you? Uh, busy too, but managed to get time off and go for a walk in the woods, as uh, Kelly knows. And he mentioned to me something about mushrooms. But we didn't go for the mushrooms. We went for the blue uh, bluebells. So <laughs> I learned something. <laughs> Wikipedia is our friend. I know I heard of them before, but uh, Kelly knows them well. So oh, there you go. Yeah. He, he needs a show. Kelly needs a show. He does, he does. He heard us talking then, I'm sure, about mushrooms. Yeah. In fact, we could do a whole show about mushrooms if you like. But my knowledge yeah. is very, very small. It wouldn't be much help, but <clears throat> you could do the talking and I'd listen. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly right. could okay. yeah. on on the show on the show two weeks ago, uh, you were sporting the latest gadget for broadcasters and you're wearing it again today i was so impressed by it and the fact that you were free to move around you could do whatever you want and there were no cables in the way that i went and got my own and it contrasts with your white one because mine is black right so i've gone bluetooth too thank you for the idea there you go you're welcome i'm wearing i'm wired today all oh, right okay wired I didn't uh, my, like if you could probably see a little bit like I got batteries lying around here and I got I got stuff going on all in front of me and uh, uh, after my other show today I'll I'll be spending some time in the studio because it's right. quite a mess I have to get organized just, just as a note the links to your next show have already gone out the links to my next show have already gone out. Yes, um, I clicked. Explain. You did a, a you did a broadcast. Yeah, nine six minutes before this show started. Yeah, with links to your next show. Oh. There you go. If it's going to go wrong, it's going to go. Uh, <laughs> it's all well, right. It's... After the day I've had it, it made me smile. So thank you for the smile, <laughs> David. We're all human. <laughs> uh well nobody will be late <laughs> oh, no no there is, that. there is that uh five and a half hours notice is pretty much you know good for anybody really <laughs> i was i was emceeing a show yesterday yeah. blue water cordsman a fantastic group uh i you, i think you probably would have enjoyed it Stephen. Uh -huh. and um, so I was the MC for that and we were, uh, on intermission break. There was a, a special guest group and they had about a half an hour. So the rest of us were downstairs in the green room, dressing room, whatever, uh, talking about things and, and oh, that part we screwed up and this, but I said, you know what? I do live all the time and it's the best thing in the world. You just got to You just keep going. Right. And these guys, some of them yep. have been for 50 years. Yeah, and I, uh, I said, what I've always wanted to do was, I, uh, of course, I wanted to mess up the order of the songs. Instead of doing this song, I wanted to say, and now we'll hear this song, and just to see what you guys would do. Did, <laughs> I didn't like that idea. No, no. I, I can imagine that uh, it would have thrown them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so can we go uh, there? let's take a look and uh, we'll say hello to Corinder. Says hello to both of us. Hello, Corinder. Hello. I'm Kelly. What else is he saying? Says, Kelly I wants to show about oh. dog sitting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 guy, I've got to bow out to that because I don't have a dog. I, I don't have a dog either. Jennifer and I will never have a dog. We, um, I, I had a dog when I was a kid, right? Yeah. But we had a house with a big yard out back where the dog, you can just let it go and run and away you go. I don't have time for a dog. Uh, I was over 
uh, where was I doing the other day? Oh, I had to take Jason over to his mother. So I was having a chat with his mother and they have a, a new dog, a young dog. Mm -hmm. And she's chasing it around and telling it to sit down. And it's a puppy, right? It's yep. still learning. It's a big dog, but it's a puppy. And I said to her, I said, how do you like your new kid? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, he's easier mm -hmm. than the other two we got. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just don't want another. They're a lot of work, right? But yep. they're, yeah. uh, they're yep. a man's best friend, I guess. Jennifer no. wants to be a cat. No. I keep saying no. No. Because it would be jumping up on the keyboard right now or something. Well, cats own the place. There's no doubt about that. I mean, cats actually yeah. take over the whole house, and it's theirs, and you're just there on sufferance, really. And and because I wouldn't like the cat, it would love me, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, it would be that relationship. And I'm home most of the time, so I end up changing the cat litter, and yeah. And then uh, Jennifer even tried to get some of her friends to gang up on me on Facebook. And my one buddy said, oh, hey, I heard you're getting a cat. And I typed in big letters, fake news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not uh, happening. Don't get me wrong. I like cats. I like dogs. It's nice to pet them as long as they're yours. That's all I know. <laughs> uh, I got an, an email. Let's talk about broadcasting for a moment. I got an email. <laughs> you may have gotten the same email. I may so, have, but may not have seen it. Um, and uh, it talks about how to sell products on Facebook Live. Okay. But a few um, things. There. And it, it almost should have been titled, How to Not Sell Things <laughs> on Facebook Live. Uh, good morning, Alfredo. Yeah, I mean, this is this has happened. Well, we we don't sell, so we don't have a problem. This yeah. show is not about selling; it's about networking. It's about meeting new people and old friends, uh, and it works supremely well. Um, selling direct, you can either your audience have got to be used to it, really. I suppose if yeah. you're uh, on Etsy and you're selling your wares, then okay, all well and good. If you're ever selling a business service. Or a business product, then I don't think that social selling, as it's called, will actually work to the same extent. Or not. Right. You're freezing up, Stephen. Looking okay. You're better now. <laughs> All right. Okay. This has right. been happening for a couple of days. Oh, okay. I've been frozen and unfrozen. That's, it's not translating what I'm saying. It's obviously I'm going to have to go into receive pronunciation again so that uh, it can understand exactly what I'm saying. I'm going to have to speak the Queen's English throughout the rest of the show. It's just going to be a challenge for you every week. <laughs> it sure is. It sure is. But it's translating correctly now, which is good. And Alfredo is saying, selling on Facebook Live? Oh, my God. It's better to to network and to sell and we can both uh, heartily agree with that what are your thoughts on the uh, situation well i don't have a problem with somebody selling on facebook like I, um what i prefer there's but there's a way to it mm -hmm. like if people know when they're watching you that this is a show and we're selling something that's okay uh to clickbait people into watching so that they see something you're selling, eh, I don't know. Well, Facebook, um, Facebook is listening to us now. Yeah. And if we say one of the, uh, not banned, but um, words which we shouldn't say, then we will go zooming down the rankings. Yeah. So what we want to say is we love Facebook. <laughs> And, but that doesn't take you up the rankings. It doesn't work that way either. It's I, I've decided that what I'm going to do, apart from finding my earpiece, is uh, just to carry on as normal. Because otherwise, you're just driving yourself crazy, trying to fit a set of rules which change the way you actually present a show. 
and that's just seems silly. The other thing that that came out in the wash last week was that people that we know are going to start stop using comment and growth tools uh, because you're not supposed to say please type uh, info in the comments to get info from our bot. It's just the world's yeah. gone mad. Um, and the other thing, and uh, I see some questions out there, or I see uh, Dom making some comments and Alfredo as well. We'll get to that in just a moment, guys. Um, well, that's one of the reasons why we stopped uh, having people type a certain word to join the show. That's one of the reasons, right? And uh, um, so what we're going to be doing, folks, if you want to join us on camera, we will be posting a link uh, in the last part of the show today, and that's when we're going to regularly take guests is at the last part of the show um yeah interesting right like facebook's not stupid they catch on to this stuff and they can have us do or not do what they want us to do and facebook is free and it's a great tool used properly so you follow the rules you borrow somebody's car you follow the rules that's just the way it is um and and facebook is a great vehicle for for doing many many things so uh well, i see people complain about oh well I, Complain all you want. It's the way it is. Um, but the one point I wanted to make was uh, about Facebook selling. I don't have a problem with it. But one of the do nots, and it's a huge do not, mm -hmm. do not sell on your personal timeline. That's a no-no. It's against Facebook's terms of service to go on your personal timeline, go live, and sell something it's 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 you don't even have to go live you just can't sell anything no. i have a friend of mine who sells cars uh -huh. and i warned him i said you better stop him yeah i know blah, blah, blah. i said no they haven't caught you yet but when they do it's not a court hearing <laughs> no no it's totally one-sided it's uh see ya so don't do it um I, I had a bit of a, a, a debate with somebody in another group that, that with live uh, that talks about live streaming, and they got talking about Caster and Restream, mm -hmm. and uh, and I made the comment. I said, "Yeah, they're both great services, but be careful. Don't go live to Facebook and Twitch at the same time. For example, if you're an affiliate on Twitch, because Twitch says no, 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 you can't do that, and Facebook says no, 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 you can't do that." In fact, on Twitch, you have, I, as an affiliate, <coughs> pardon me, as an affiliate, I have to wait 24 hours, <coughs> my goodness, before I can even take the content that I just put on Twitch mm -hmm. and put it anywhere else. Terms of service mm -hmm. are there for a reason. Can you get away with it for a little Not while? Not as an affiliate. Not as an affiliate, you can't. But they will um, find you. So don't Twitch, sell in personal timeline. Right. You mentioned Restream.io and AppSumo got a $49 deal, $49 US dollar deal at the moment, uh, to give you access to Restream.io. And sorry, who you know, Restream. Right. Yeah, AppSumo. AppSumo is the oh, okay. uh, one actually selling it. A P P S U M O. Hey, thank you. Um, Right, and they're selling it for $49, and you can restream to several different places at the same time using the RTMP. Um, but there is a problem at the moment, for us anyway. You can't schedule. Right. You can just go live. Now, our gaining an audience is due to the fact that we do schedule and we tell people where to go to to find the scheduled post. Uh, if you're just going to go live, then you can't tell people, uh, this is going to sound wrong, but you can't tell people where to go. Um, you've got to uh, say, just be somewhere on my page at such and such a time, uh, right. which doesn't work in quite the same way. Yeah. Well, um, I even had the question in my class the other day, uh, my college class is done now. I'm kind of sad. Oh, uh, uh, but my my high school credit dual credit class it goes till June. Okay. And my one of my students asked, said, 
can you go live everywhere at the same time? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, you can. So we had the conversation about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've used, I've used Restream. I've used Caster. I've been guilty of going live everywhere. Um, and after a lot of thought, I've, I've decided that <clears throat> people just want to uh, usually want to go. I just want to go live everywhere so I can get more eyes on me. And I think it's a mistake to do in certain scenarios. I think people who are on, well, it's hard for me to say, cause I, I tend to, I do have a following on multiple platforms, mm -hmm. but the following is different on every platform. <clears throat> My following on Twitch out of my 400 followers, three might be from Facebook. Yep. Uh, they're not interested in, well, I shouldn't say they're not, but most of those followers are not interested in what we're talking about today. Or they're certainly not interested in my community show. Um, so I think, I think it's important that you build an audience, build a community, on a platform and that's where you go live. Um, now when I, what's a good example? What, the Sarnia Sting, when I do the Sarnia Sting games, mm -hmm. I was going live on Facebook and Twitter at the same time. Okay. And that was okay because those are two audiences that are interested in, in, what I'm doing. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Yeah, I'm with you so far. So yeah. far, so good. So it's, but even then, I decided to stop broadcasting to Twitter because my community is Facebook. Mm -hmm. The Sting is a local team. My Facebook is local to me. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> so what I decided to do is to just go live on Facebook. And then it, using repurpose gets automatically shared to YouTube and other platforms. And then that gets embedded into my website. So it's now in multiple places after the fact. And the Sting Games, they're already tweeting what's happening. Mm -hmm. So that's so yeah. I just retweet. It's, I just retweet. But what I do is after my live is over, then I'll go to Twitter after taking a snapshot of the broadcast on my phone, mm -hmm. I go to Twitter. I share the link saying, watch the, we just talked about blah, blah, blah. Watch the replay with a link right. to the Facebook Live. There you go. So, yeah, the whole, the whole restream caster thing, great services. <clears throat> they have their purpose. But I think people would do well to put a lot of thought. It's, it's a whole marketing and branding thing, right? I'll just go live everywhere and I'll get more people to watch me. It doesn't work that way. In my opinion, it's just my opinion. Um, You've got to find what works for you. Yeah. And, and then really focus down on that. And as, as we know, we've got a, a good audience on Facebook and, uh, a lot of comments coming in and this show and the shows that we do generally about getting people involved and for everybody to have their say um it has to be said i could have great fun here actually reading back what uh our teleprompter is actually doing i haven't even been picked <laughs> <laughs> i could i could it's pretty close um yeah Indeed. Uh, anyway, I have actually found uh, I'm going to start going live more on Twitch. Why, you ask? Uh, to talk about the United World Radio, uh, because the audience over there, as you say, is different. And we're going to, I'm going to cover, actually, the creation of the radio station and keep people up to date. And that means that the website, United World Radio, will be 100% not Facebook. There'll be nothing right. from Facebook on it. You won't need Facebook to log in. You can actually listen to the audio uh, and watch the videos without ever logging into Facebook. So it's possibly a new venture that, that may pay off. Good, good. Um, yeah, well, and, and that's a good point, right? Like, 
when people go to Facebook, they go to Facebook to socialize uh -huh. and comment and all that other stuff. And there happens to be live there too. On Twitch, people are going there to watch live. While you, they can still watch your recorded videos, they're going to Twitch and they're looking to watch something live. That's the purpose of it. So, yeah. I think that's uh, and 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 you're looking for a world audience too, right? So that's true. Twitch is that's true. Than the, uh, it, it happens on Facebook, but it works better on Twitch, I think. That's, uh, and I haven't been on Twitch in a few weeks. <clears throat> um, I've been revamping a few things, and I had to mm -hmm. kind of wait to get out of the way and <clears throat> so i'll be starting that up this week again so you'll see me regularly on there as well so i may well bump into you i, I haven't sent you anything for united world radio but i will i promise uh, hopefully, hopefully you will uh just in the, in the chat here i've put a link uh what we've actually done is uh for the people who are broadcasting on the station we've set up a link to their latest uh broadcast as a podcast and you can listen to at the moment 11 different shows on there and we're well on our way to uh, our target of having 50 different podcasts on the station um yeah, and sure you should in the comments here today yeah it's it's basically it's on the uh Bilai broadcasting set the orange button it's it's there it's where it's down there I don't see it in the comments not in not in the facebook comments in the in our comment comments oh right okay <laughs> we'll get there uh this is live um okay now domingos is saying he's still learning about live broadcasting uh i'm going to say that we're still learning too domingos you never stop things change every day rules change software changes everything changes uh, and well, I and I have to apologize to to Dom because uh, I told him I'd get over there to help him with some B live, and I haven't been able to do it yet. So Dom, I will make time this week. I promise. I promise I will make time this week. Um, <clears throat> because I, I gave him a a link, a thirty day link, right, to try things out on B live, yeah. and um, and Dom, you, I've been wa I've been watching. I don't always respond because if I'm I'm out somewhere or whatever, I can't really, but. Um, uh, I've been watching, and and Dom's doing a fantastic job. He mm -hmm. just goes live. He just goes Facebook yep. live. Um, he created a page now, as uh, as well as the group, and uh, <clears throat> I have updated some pics for him and stuff. And I'm going to link the page to the group. And uh, you're doing a great job, Dom. Seriously, uh, you're further ahead than most in the beginning because what most are afraid to do is they're afraid to click the lock, go live button. Just go live. <laughs> And uh, you just, like just do it, and you've just been doing it, and you've had a lot of consistency, and you're building some followers. It takes time to build an audience. You know, there's a lot of people out there with MS or dealing with MS in some shape or form, and they just don't know about you yet. So we'll we'll get that there. Um, so yeah, Stephen and I are always learning. Yeah. We could tell you about an experience just before we went live, and we kind of went. I went. Well, I went. Oops. <laughs> you know, <laughs> things will go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. oh they will they will and we say welcome to jason and uh alfredo saying hello to jason as well um so all is good the network is all here now corinna uh, was asking um oh sorry Go ahead. no it's okay i I finished Cor corinna was asking how are you and david talking together we um, what, we you can explain it's your it's you you you've performed this minor miracle so um i and i have to uh, I'll, I'll make a video on this because i put a comment in be live and said here's a demonstration and any enough interest i'll i'll make a video so i won't go into all the details here today because we just don't have enough time we won't go into star wars today is that what i said once upon a time <laughs> having fun with webcaptioner.com. Um, I'm using a third party tool called OBS software and that's bringing in my camera and then it takes control of uh, the audio as well. So um, 
how do I explain? I'm not good at explaining right off the cuff. Um, so in in it's it's basically using stereo mix as your microphone. So you have to go in and play around with some things in OBS, and then when you go into Be Live, um, you have to pick your OBS virtual camera, and for your microphone, click stereo mix, and make sure you got the settings right in OBS, which I say I won't get into. I will make a video on it, I promise. Um, and then that picks up both sides of the conversation. So Web Captioner does a pretty good job. It's not perfect. Nothing is. But for a free this, service, it does a great job yep. of providing very accurate, most accurate, um, that I, of any tool that I've seen, at least for free. And um, one of the things I like about it and being able to pick up the other side of the conversation is sometimes when I do a live broadcast of a speaker, somebody giving a talk, I can actually bring this in and for accessibility reasons, it's uh, it's well received, right? So um, webcaptioner.com. So stay tuned. I will make a video and uh, at some point. And I believe there's an update this week that allows you to save your settings. You can log in with Facebook or whatever and save your settings. Web capture? Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Uh, he announced oh, that's it. Really? Oh, okay. And I, I, I didn't do that on purpose. I just happened to click on something and ta da. Let me come back okay. here. Clickety click. Bob trick. Sign in. I am. Your settings will now be saved to your account whenever you're signed in. Got it. On my own, the show's mine. Um, so let's go through any comments that have actually been missed whilst David is uh, refreshing. And uh, David, David's disappeared too. This is not good. Well, I'm right here. Because especially when we're flying without any agenda whatsoever, and just make it up as we go along. Um, Hello. You can't see me. I'm right here, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. <laughs> so, uh, can you guys still see me? Not sure. I see. There, he's going to refresh. You guys can see me though, right? Let's try that again. There you are. I am. Yes. I was. I was there the whole time. You can catch up by reading what I've just said. <laughs> Streaming mix and not using a physical mixer. Yes, no, I'm not using a, a physical mixer for this at all. Yes. Uh, uh, question: Can can you hear voices, David? I can hear voices. Can you hear just me or me and me? No, just you. Oh, that's good. All good. And he's back. Everybody says they can see it. He's back. Stephen's bringing up yeah. Stephen. Okay, uh, I'm so I'm just going back through here. Yeah, it's not using a physical mixer. Um, where are we? So I'm watching all I wonder if I, if it will pick me up. <laughs> the sound machine. Are alive with the sound of music like that. <laughs> Showing through. Uh, 
sewing machines sewing washing 11 restaurants near me i wonder if it'll pick me up sing shake okay <laughs> <laughs> oh good fun with okay. fun <laughs> okay that's that, that, let's let's go for it shall we just to give it an acid test the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog that's pretty good the so rain pain falls mainly on the plane are you sure <laughs> i don't well i've never been there <laughs> uh yeah. there you go kerner was saying hi to jason as well not sure if you saw that but, uh, yeah um okay let's let me here's a question let, just to keep things rolling here where is it uh I'm still learning. I lost it. Still, okay. Still struggling to make affiliate for Twitch. There's the question of the day. Still the question of the day. Twitch. Here's it's oh, I'm in trouble. Go ahead, Steven. Because we've got two different ones. You have a recipe. You're breaking up again, sir. Okay. Testing one, two, three. Testing okay. one, two, three. Good. Must be your internet. Okay. I'll refresh. We'll just have to. We'll just have to deal with it. Can you hear me now? Yep, you're good. All right. Okay. Dom says he's coming. Yes, I have a karaoke here in, in a new karaoke venue uh, I'm doing starting this Saturday. It's not every Saturday, just once a month. Okay. But uh, Dom's going to be out there. He comes out. And uh, it's a, it's wheelchair accessible, so it's a great spot for him to be able to come out to. All right. So what is your recipe for making affiliate? What's the recipe? Yes. Hard work. Um, his His... I, I think I think one of the things that people run into in this live streaming world, whether it be on Facebook or making affiliate on Twitch, whatever, uh, everybody wants the cookie cutter solution. And there isn't one. There just isn't one. Now, there are things that you can do on a consistent basis to grow your community. Why are you folks here today watching? You're here today because of two things, in my opinion, and I teach this. Two words, relationships and impact. Relationships and impact is what grows a Facebook Live. We have built a relationship because of the relationship you're here we've probably had some sort of impact on you whether that be learning about live streaming or you are you enjoy our knowledge about something or it's just a positive vibe whatever that is you've been somehow impacted and that is how you build a channel especially on twitch go build relationships don't go into other people's chat and go, hi, I'm here to build a relationship and I live stream too. Don't go into somebody else's chat and say, I'm a live streamer. Is anybody else a live streamer? It's not cool to go into somebody else's chat and talk about the fact that you are a live streamer. When you build the relationships, you have to build honest relationships. <laughs> so on Twitch, for example, go watch other people's channels when you're not live. Go spend time engaging and just going hey i like that game you're playing or i loved what you're talking about or they don't have to know that you're a live streamer if the broadcaster says is anybody in here a live streamer then go ahead but just like you make friends build relationships it's the things you do when you're not live that grows your channel or your audience or your community however you want to label it it's the things you do when you're not live to grow. Um, my community show, I've been able to build that because I, 
I, when I'm not live, I'm out in my community doing things. And just by doing that, it builds relationships. And when I'm out in the community, I'm having some kind of an impact on somebody. A positive one is usually the best one. It is. Always the best one. So um, what you do when you're not live is probably the biggest thing that will grow your audience, your channel. And yeah, you have to promote yourself online, but that's promoting online is not just going to <clears throat> a bunch of groups that say, uh, come here and promote uh, like, prom like self promotion groups and everybody goes and shares the link. And there's more to just sharing the link. Be live, for example, has built a great service because they've built a community. The community of BeLive is, is powerful because you've got moderators like Steven and Brigetti and myself and a whole bunch of others that are there to help. They only really need one moderator, and that's Stephen Hanley, but <laughs> I don't know if he can hear me. Are you there, Stephen? I've lost Stephen. Poor Stephen. He's, he's having a terrible, terrible day. I just have to tell him what's going on. Stephen, I feel bad when that, when that happens. So yeah, you have to. Um, the Be Live community has built a community. It's a community within a community, and people are that go help each other and spend time getting to know each other, and right. Um, the things I do offline or not live makes you grow. That's right. Alfredo says, I watched because, okay, let me get him up here. I watched because of great engagement. I learned from David, Stephen, and Jason. There you go. So you're, you're here because you learned something, right? And it's a positive, I'm thinking it's a positive thing. So that's good that you're here. Um, yes, the things I do offline are not live makes you grow. That's right. It's what you're, what you're engaging in when you're not live. And some people would say, um, are you there, Stephen? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> As he frustratingly says. <laughs> yes, I'm there. It's okay. I, I got off to a, a whole uh, a rant on my last comment about how do you grow that channel is the things you do when you're not live that helps you grow. Oh, Stephen. Poor Stephen. Yep. It's, it's the things you do when other people are live as well. Uh, as you said, you've got to watch other people's shows. You've got to comment on other people's shows. And you've got to be on the whole, be positive um, and help people. Helping is the greatest thing you can do on the internet um, to become known and to become the go-to person. There's a, a phrase that was coined, which is no like and trust. And people get to know you and then to like you and then to trust you and it's a it doesn't happen overnight it happens over time and if you invest time in others they will down the road invest time in you yes that's the simple equation and if you're talking about uh being able to go over to twitch and actually uh gain affiliate then you need a tribe and you need a tribe who will when you ask, do you the wonderful man? Some favor of turning up and you can broadcast a little network where you work it to several people. Also, on a regular basis, not just you go live every day, but on Twitch, you need to go live at least three times a week, David. Possibly. We got most of that. You're in and out again. I wonder if it would it help if I refreshed. It could do. Okay, I'm going right. to do that. Okay, so we've got gremlins today. And if you can hear me, just type a one in the comments. If you can't hear me, then you won't have heard what I've just said. Uh, 
and I can't promote anything. Okay, so I'm just going back through. Uh, Jason, Jason's just said, what if people don't want your help? And uh, <laughs> people that do. <laughs> concentrate on the people that do. Not everybody wants help. Not everybody wants to be seen being helped. Uh, if you feel you can help somebody, but you know they don't like being helped in public, then help them in private through Facebook Messenger. Uh, there's always ways to of reaching out to pe people. Um, to, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So far. It's about time for my earpiece to fall out again now. That would just complete the show nicely. Um, I'm trying not to move. Okay. And uh, Domingo, Domingos, thank you for the one. So I am being heard. Uh, I'm, I'm going to persist with this here piece, though. I'm determined. Helping folks on the internet to become known. Yes, Stephen Healy. Um, it. We had a uh, there uh, was there was a saying that was said to me a long time, and this actually comes from the network marketing world, um, but it it, it works in any world really help enough people get what they want and you'll get what you want True. people have a hard time understanding that because we all want to get paid so you have to draw your limits too i help people uh who ask me the right way for free to a point right um, and then there's others that I just help because I have a relationship with them and I know that it's genuine. Dom, for example, is a great example. He wanted to go live, didn't have a camera. I said, he was ready to go buy one. I said, don't buy one. I'll get you one. I got a bunch lying around, whatever. And then we yeah. got him a good microphone. Somebody donated it. Great. I helped him. Because I've also known him for 25 years, mm -hmm. and I supported what it was he was trying to do to get out there and talk about a mess. But it's mostly because we have a relationship, a long-term relationship, that I helped him. And he's kind of a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> that well, helps. That helps. That 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 certainly helps, and. Uh, it's it's being genuine that makes a big difference too, right? Would we love it if everybody who asked us for help said yes? I'll pay you forty dollars an hour. Yeah, yeah. There, there is there, there is a, a a point as well that if somebody asks for help and you know the answer, then you can help. If somebody asks for help and you don't understand the question or you don't know the answer, then do nothing. Right. Giving giving bad answers can actually ruin your reputation giving bad advice can ruin your reputation so always make sure that you're actually on solid ground and and know what you're talking about then people start to take you seriously uh because there's no way that there's no way that i could answer all the questions in believers i answer them leave the others alone and uh People and I come and um, that doesn't work. In which case, it's a question that uh, answer chat on there. Yeah, yeah. But you have to. You've got to be focused. If you want to, to be a Twitch affiliate, then you've got to be on Twitch two, at least three times a week, and you've got to be focused. Have good content, as you know. I it mean, goes for live video. You've got to have the content, unless you can sort of busk it for an hour on the on a topic you're given um huh. no magic bullet just persistence patience and the will to win um yeah we caught most of that and we're in and out again alfredo says last 15 minutes of the show now <laughs> he wants to be a guest is he, has, has he had enough <laughs> 
Oh, right. Okay. Ah, right. Sorry. I misread the comment. I misread the comment. I am, uh, uh, boy, when you're live, though, I'm, my Facebook is really slow. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, I mean, I'm the lucky one because I'm not actually, uh, oh, wait a minute. I've got a CPU going bananas as well. What's going on? Well, I can tell you where it is at my end. I mean, I have a Ninja computer going here. It's not a super Ninja computer, but uh, Chrome takes a lot of power. And uh, I've got web caption open, and I've got BeLive open, and I've got Facebook open, and we're live. Yeah. But there is the guest link that I've just posted if uh, you want to join. A couple of rules before you join uh, live. Um, focused on you we like things to uh, we don't want a whole bunch of stuff going on in the background making noises and stuff it's just distracting to uh try to have a conversation when that happens so try to keep things uh focused here and there's alfredo hi guys thanks for having me hello on. Hello. hello can you hear me yep okay yep good, good. um that's good what's new well, I'm still looking for work. Uh, <laughs> apparently, there's a Wendy AI chatbot that's supposed to help me find work. But when I tried to get into it, it didn't. It had an error. I couldn't continue. So I responded by the email response instead of trying to chat with the AI bot. So, right, Wendy. Are Wendy, you, are you looking for a specific type of job, or are you just right now going? I I got to get out there. And I've got to at least find something. Right now, I'm I'm at the point of finding something. Um, yeah. Okay. As far as specific type work, that's that's kind of water under bridge. I, I I'll try for those specific jobs, but right now I I I'm in the point where I'm need to just find work. Right. You got man's got to eat. Yep. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, that can be. It's it's not easy, right? It can no, be tough. it's not. Yeah, it's tough. So, um, what uh, you're still doing? Your your streaming on on Twitch for the church? Uh, I I stopped it for a while because someone said I should just not do streaming at all, and 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 I'm thinking to myself, why would I stop the advertising part of me saying I'm looking for work? And and then continue to yeah. use the other channels to try to find work. So I'm kind of debating whether or not I should actually use social media to say, "Hey guys, I'm looking for work. These are some of my skills. Would you hire me?" I could do that. Well, I, I, yeah, I'm, but I think uh, well, it's networking, right? Right, right. Get, building relationships. Um. Even my son, who's going to be 19, uh, I've taught him build relationships. And even he, when he comes out and helps me with live streams and stuff, and especially in regular scenarios where a lot of the same people are around, I'm like, buddy, you're building relationships here. You're getting to know these people so that when I get older and then you get older, and if you want to continue this, you've already built those relationships that can help you through it, right? So... Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know, Stephen. You got any advice for that? How to? How uh, to I, I I don't know the U.S. job market, so it's very difficult for me. Um, I mean, the, in the U.K., we just send out thousands of of uh, CVs and applications. It's the same. That's the sort of, sort of thing. The same world over. I just want to just off point for a moment. Can you just drop the uh, transcriber into the lobby? Yeah. Okay, I've got a theory. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's going to be right. Um, because the transcriber is always transcribing and the text is always moving, the picture that's being sent out is busier than the three of us sat here, which means it's eating everybody's processor power. Oh, that's right. The, the, these the um 
the transcriber still needs internet access to actually transcribe things. Hmm. Yeah, because yeah, you're a whole lot better now, Stephen. Yeah. But why wouldn't that affect okay. my... Are you still there, Stephen? No, he's frozen again. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna I'm gonna close the web capture completely. It's just gone. Okay. Okay. And uh, Stephen's gone again. Yeah. So um, yeah, uh, I don't think you go on social media and just go everywhere and go, hey, I'm looking for work. These are my skills. Right, Call that's me. not the proper way to do it. <laughs> no. I, I, again, you, you go out, you build relationships. I, it, you'll hear me say it over and over and over and over and over. I even said to my classes, I said in my very first class, there's two words you need to learn, and you're going to hate those two words by the end of 15 weeks. And those words are relationships and impact. And it's to the point where when we're talking in class about things uh, and I'll ask a question and I'll say, why is that? And they'll go, relationships. They roll their eyes at me. But it's it's you know, an impact, right? Okay, well, they, they, those two words come up all the time, every day. And once you have those, it takes time, though, right? Um, like, like looking for work would be like you've got to have a plan to just get up and go out the door with a bunch of resumes in your hand and start walking around and going, oh, I think I'll go there. Oh, that place looks cool. That's not a plan. It's the attack list. Make the attack list. And then do research on those places. And even if you were going to apply to a coffee shop or Starbucks or Tim Hortons, what do you know about Tim Hortons, right? That's a Canadian thing. Who's Tim Horton? It was a coffee with hockey player, right? Know where you're applying. But, uh, and, and that consistency and persistency would be a big deal. But using live streaming, <coughs> like you said, somebody said you should stop live streaming? Yeah, someone recommended that I just completely stop live streaming, just focus on finding work. Well, I mean, if you're live streaming all the day, every day, eight hours during the day, yeah, and and not looking for work. That's probably that's probably good advice. But I mean, I wouldn't stop live streaming. Period. I don't think I would either. I mean, it is you've got to carry on as you normally do, and, and obviously you actually use those forty hours to uh, search for a job. Yeah. I saw in the comments Frank, uh, Frank, Jason Franco gave me some sites to try, and uh, I okay. created I created a thumb stack account already. Uh, it's a I guess it's a service that allows professionals to connect with other businesses. I guess, but I'm not. I'm Great. still reviewing the uh, site right now. So yeah, yeah. there you go. Right there's there's to my point. You have a relationship going on there with Jason and you're networking and he hears something and goes, Hey, you don't know what the person beside you knows. <laughs> right. And it's often the person that you don't know that will go, uh, uh, it's somebody else that will lead you to the person that they know that will help you out. Right. That's, that's, that's been my experience. Yeah. Speaking of networking, uh, I, over the weekend, I went through a, um, a men's retreat at Angela's, Angeles Crest Christian Camp, and uh, I managed to meet other men there, and I I networked with the one person that would hopefully introduce me to another guy that's in the field of my interest, which is software development. So right. there you go, right? Networking, and you don't know who you don't know. So um, that's true. But uh, we're at the end of our time, Alfredo. I thank you so much for uh, joining us, and of course, we wish you the the best in your journey of uh, finding employment. You'll get there. And uh, thanks for joining Indeed. us. Thanks. All right. There you go. Um, 
thanks to all of you who joined us here today. We do appreciate you being here. And we enjoy building the relationships, and hopefully we've had an impact. There you go. I got it out of my system for now. <laughs> impact. 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 Go on, then. And, Stephen, thank you for being here as always. And uh, sorry we had some gremlins there. Maybe, uh, I don't know if we figured it out because you're still kind of you're in and out. I don't know. I'll check the replay and see what was happening. Um, I might need to tweak a few things. Our internet has been a bit strange over the weekend, so uh, it may just be that. All right. All right. Well, uh, what's for dinner? I've lost you. I'm losing you now. Uh, today, today's dinner is a chicken roast dinner, David. I'm cooking chicken with all the trimmings, and you're welcome to join us. Awesome. And thanks to all of you who joined us, and uh, we appreciate you being here. And we'll be back next week. We took last week off because of Easter, but uh, it's good to be back. Yeah. And I'll be live this afternoon at 3.30 p.m. Eastern with three awesome guests in our community here talking about that. And until next time, take care of each other. Bye for now. Bye.